Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, today's video, let me give you an update about our rabbitry. As you know, we've been so successful about producing these rabbits because we have finally perfected the system of breeding them and raising them. Well, in our previous videos, we made mention about how to successfully breed and raise our rabbits. And we told you that our system was to allow the rabbits to dig and deliver their kits. And this method is quite successful because we are actually now producing hundreds of kits out of our rabbit farming. And as you can see right here, we have so many kits that we have allowed to roam around and pasture them. Because it is in this method also that they will develop their muscles and they will become happy. Actually, they are feeding on the grasses that are here. And uh, we normally do this three times a week. When the weather is good, when it's not raining, and the heat is not so much, then we allow these kids to roam around and play and eat the grasses. Maybe you will ask Dexter, what is this business? Well, this business is actually geared towards producing meat. And maybe you will object if I will say that we're gonna produce meats. Because this is actually the objective of this rabbit farming, to produce meats and of course, you can also have them as pets. Well, in this rabbit farming, the sad thing is when we're gonna butcher our rabbits for meat. And this is the hardest fact to accept because we are trained to believe that these rabbits are pets. I would like to raise our awareness about these rabbit meats because these rabbit meats are good for our health. And in fact, today, I will teach you how to cook the rabbit meats. And what I have in mind is to show you how to make the rabbit meats with uh, the curry curry powder. This is one recipe that I have in mind that we are going to cook right now, this uh, rabbit curry. And also, I would like to show you how to roast rabbits because these rabbits are best served when it is roasted. So we're gonna do these things and I hope you will forgive me with this, but uh, I would like to open our minds that rabbits nowadays are considered commodities. They are no longer considered pets. So guys, we have just finished skinning our rabbit and we will cut this meat into pieces. This is best for rabbit curry. See that? The meat is very fat and you will see that it's very lean, no fats. See? So 
So we have this good meat now and we will cook this with curry curry powder. So guys, we were able to have a clean meat of 3 kilos out of the 2 rabbits. So this will cost around 4,500 because per kilo of this rabbit uh, is uh, sold at 1,500. Before we're gonna start the cooking, I will let you see also the other manner of butchering our rabbits. Because the first method that you have seen is the skinning of these rabbits. And this time we will not remove the skin, but we will use the hot water. We will just remove the fur using the hot water. So we are all set for our recipe and our recipe is called rabbit curry. We have this uh, 3 kilos of rabbit meat, we have this potato, we have this carrots, we have this uh, eggplant and of course the coconut milk and we have the pepper, onion and this uh, curry powder. We also have the string bits for our rabbit curry curry. So guys, we will start the cooking now. Uh, we will put some oil, cooking oil right here. So guys, we will fry our ingredients. We have this garlic. So we'll put this onions. And after the onions, I think we are ready now to put the meat, the fresh meat of the rabbit. So the potato will be mixed with the meat, the potato. The next in line is the carrot, the favorite of the rabbits. And then this eggplant. So we have the potato, we have the string beans, we have the carrots, and the next in line is the eggplant. This is delicious, I believe. And then we will put cover. We will cover this one. And what about our roasted rabbits? Well, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> Actually, uh, we have to evenly distribute the fire. So it's time now to drop our coconut milk. This is one kilo of coconut, grated coconut. And this is the milk. Wow, it smells good. Wow. So 
So we will drop our ginger. And then the curry powder. And we wanted to make this taste hot, so we will put the bell pepper, another pepper, this is not the bell pepper, this is the long pepper. <laughs> So now that our meat is already half cooked, we will put this pure coconut milk. Wow, this is delicious. So this is the final set. We have to put the onion. We have to put some salt and then that's it. I did not anymore put some seasoning because I trust that the meat of the rabbits it's really delicious. So guys, we have this rabbit curry and two roasted rabbits, which looks good and delicious. So we will now eat and we will taste this one if this is delicious. So come on, let's eat. Be with us guys and let's do our lunch. Actually, this is a late lunch already because it's already 1.30 in the afternoon and the rabbits are our best meal for this lunch. And roasted rabbit is best when you have this very hot chili. Mm. Delicious. Mm. It tastes really good. Delicious than chicken. Mm. Rabbit farming is not only profitable but enjoyable too. One can grow a rabbit as a pet and also grow as a food without much investment. There is a very high demand for rabbit meat in the market and there are not enough suppliers to fulfill this growing demand. Rabbit meat is rich in high quality proteins omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin B12, and minerals like calcium and potassium. Rabbit meat is also lean and low in cholesterol. Rabbit meat is one of the healthiest, leanest, and most environmentally friendly meats you can eat. Compared to beef, pork, lamb, turkey, and chicken, rabbit has the highest percentage of protein and has lowest percentage of fat and the fewest calories per pound. So you can see there are many health benefits to eating rabbit meat. Why not try this in your diet? And Arnold said it's his first time to eat this rabbit curry curry and this uh, roasted rabbit. What can you say Arnold? Lame <laughs> kayo. It means uh, it's delicious. So we will eat this one. Mmm. Really tastes good. More delicious than chicken. 
Crispy. Delicious. Okay. <laughs> I would like to commend this staff of mine here at the farm because they are really very serious about their work and as you know we've been quite successful in our farming of chicken, the rabbits, the goats and even the fish and we're looking forward also to have a recipe on the catfish that we have thrown at the mud pan. So if you are not subscribed I hope you will subscribe because we're uploading videos every three to five days and if you will subscribe you will be notified of our future videos only here at Dexter's World!